Hello, this is a car, and as I promised, I would show you a video with the pupa of my tobacco hornworms, and that will be featured in this video today at towards the end. Right here is the one that um was uh, under threat of dying yesterday, last night, um, and I mentioned how it could be possibly shedding its skin, which was indeed the case. I don't know if you could see the the skin there, but right next to the paper there is, you can see what is like a uh a little um almost like a cap that was once the head and the skin is also in there but that's much harder to see here's another one here and this is the one that always seems to love the potato i gave them extra potatoes you can see they all have fresh pieces um this one i gave a fresh piece of tomato as well but again, he still likes the potato, and he is now probably in his fourth in star of growth. This one is probably just entering its fourth. And this one here is definitely in its fifth in star, and is getting ready to go into its pre-pupil stage, because the fifth in star is the stage just before pre-pupil stage, which then it will dig into the soil. Uh, that's why I have more dirt in it than any of the others because it's more urgent for him to have the dirt than these guys So you have the fifth in star and the fourth in star beginning of fourth in, in star Which is their um, stages in uh, life and here is the pupa This is a tobacco hornworm cocoon And it um they generally will be underground like this, there'll be like a little um cave that they will create in their pre-pupil stage and make their cocoons in here. And put them down gently. And um they're usually a light brown color in the beginning, and then they turn into a darker brown, almost a black color, as they start to enter the end of their pre-pupil stage. Or their pupil stage, their cocoon, their chrysalis. And I'm going to set up for him a little um, enclosure, which you guys will get to watch now. Let me go get my, um, my cage for it. Here I have its cage set up. It's um, from a few years ago when I had the butterflies. I'm going to put this up here so you can have a better look. Now these guys, um, whenever I tend to put them on the plain floor of here, it's very flat and very uncomfortable. They tend to die. So what I'm going to do differently this time is I'm going to add a little bit of soil down there. Let me open this thing. I haven't opened it in a while, so it's a little bit hard to open. There we go. And there's the inside there. I do have some soil from previous attempts. Um, I have some soil. You can use any potting soil because unlike plants, they are not fussy about their soils. Like just the soft, um, better pillow, if you will, to lay on. They do like the uh, comfort. And I have my water bottle there to moisten it. So all you gotta do is just grab a handful, maybe two, if you uh, do a small handful, you don't need much, remember that, but you do need some, and it's important to remember when you have them in this uh, pupil stage, that you have uh, something from the climate. I had him in a small plastic container like these guys were, but um, being that he's getting close to hatching, I'm putting him in here so he can actually climb up the walls, because these walls are not really good for climbing. So I just kind of put them in, like indented. And remember, they don't have eyes, so that you can't really see that, you know, it's makeshift uh, or, or perfect. So that's, you know, he's not really going to care much. Just as soft and um, comfortable. So away. And now, give them a little bit of moisture, because remember, as the uh, chrysalis, they do not have a mouth to drink from. So they're going to keep them hydrated throughout their pupil stage. They 
will not die from not having water for over a long period of time, like let's say a week. This guy, I went about two or three weeks without giving him water and he's still alive. But you definitely don't want to um, completely um, forget about it, especially if they're in uh, their diapause stage, I believe it's called, or hibernation, where they will um, spend multiple months, especially during the winter months, uh, hibernating so that they can have food when they hatch because um, nature knows what it's doing and it knows that there's not going to be any food for it if it um, hatches early. And so um, that was my cocoon. I set up a little enclosure for a little bit of dirt, put him down, sprints it with a little water to keep him moist. Uh, he's been hibernating, this one here, for about four months now. And um, these ones are going to be his little buddies when they turn. This one's going to be the first one to turn into a pupa. Then it will probably be this one. And then this one. Um, Alright, thank you. Bye.